Hi guys, it's Cooking Like a Caveman. I'm Larry the Butcher. It's October 7th. So we're right at the start of Oktoberfest. The greatest time of year for a German. There's no better time of year for a German than Oktoberfest. Um, so, um, I have some ancestors that are from, from that region. Um, and I know uh, one of the national dishes of Germany, other than uh, beer, is uh, Sauerbraten. And Sauerbraten is a dish. Sauerbraten is a vinegar and oil marinated uh, roast of beef. Sometimes they use lamb, sometimes they use pork. That's been marinated for a few days and then baked in the oven. And it's normally served with uh, spetzel, uh, spelt, potatoes. Um, it's just me and the, the little guy today, so I'm just going to do potatoes. Um, I'm not going to show you a whole lot, but, but I will show you Part of the whole uh, cooking like a caveman idea was that you, you use what's around the house. And who doesn't love ice cream? So I've got a plastic ice cream container that happened to be Kit Kat style ice cream. So I put the marinade in here. And what I have is um, one third red wine vinegar. One third olive oil, one third beer. Um, I used moose head because that's what was in the house. Um, and you can't see a whole lot here, but what, what I'll do this right now is I will find the string. And what I did, and you'll hear a lot of that. What I did, this is a sirloin tip roast, which I am using for a couple reasons. First, it was on sale. Second, it was what I had on the block. And third, what you'll see is it's a nice lean roast. So it's marinated in, let, let's use a third of a cup of red wine vinegar, a third of a cup of olive oil, and a third of a cup of beer. And what I did is I put about a tablespoon of mustard in it so that everything would meld together, and spices, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. I use some Italian spices because it's a, it's a nice contrast and it provides a variety of spices all at once. I didn't use any cumin. Cumin just didn't seem right to me for this. So I have a 450 degree oven. Once that pops off, I'm going to throw this in there. I'll just show you quickly right now. If you can see it. I've got a pot of beef stock going here. Um, I've done another one that I'm going to use in, in this one that, um, is going to make an, a really good gravy. Somebody, I know somebody wants to say hello. You want to say hello, Brandon? Hi. Say hi. 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 Say daddy's cooking. <laughs> no, daddy's cooking. Daddy's cooking dinner. Daddy's cooking dinner. So roast is in the oven for dinner. an hour. Uh, I'm going to start my potatoes now. You guys have seen it done before. Um, if you want me to, I'll do an episode of how I do. They're going to be a cross between french fries and home fries. Um, I can do an episode if you like. And leave a comment down below. Um, I'm going to do this now. Like this episode if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Comment. Complain about my camera. Complain about my microphone. <laughs> do what you need to. Um, I'll be back in a few Welcome minutes. back, guys. Um, so... The sour broughton is done. That was an hour at 450 degrees. It smells pretty incredible. So what I'm doing um, now is I've got all the onions, the bed of onions. What? So I throw some butter in there, and now some flour. And what's kind of a neat trick that I've learned like from my Texas fried chicken, I learned this from, is the flour will stick to the onions and it will pump up.
I'll be getting rid of the black crusties. I'll do a B-roll episode just with my GoPro. Let's see how that works though. Potatoes are good. I'm going to wait five minutes for the sour button before I can cut into it. We'll be back. Okay guys, here it is. So it's been resting for about ten minutes. I'm telling you, it smells Pretty awesome. I don't think I've ever had sour broughton, but um, I've seen reference to it on television. And of course, when you talk about Oktoberfest, how can you talk about Oktoberfest without sauerkraut, bratwurst, and sour broughton? So, the only problem here is this was a three pound roast. I think I still got well over two pounds here. So, the the loss. Oh wow, this smells pretty awesome. Look at that. Looks incredible. Mmm. Really, really good. With those potatoes, the gravy, and I think I'll heat up some corn. This is definitely going to be winner winner sour brat and dinner. So there you have it. I created um, an authentic. A uh, German dish, I'm kind of off the top of my head. I had some reference points, but um, it's going to be really good. My family's going to really enjoy it. It's going to be interesting seeing my son eat it with ketchup, but uh, that's a different story. Um, so I hope you decide to try something like this at home. And by all means, be inventive. Sour broughton can be made with pork, lamb, beef, um, any. Try it with chicken or turkey. I'm sure it'll turn out pretty awesome too. So I'm Larry the Butcher. As always, this was Cook Like a Caveman, and if this caveman can cook something really awesome like this in this kitchen, you can too. But, oh, before, before I go, uh, like this if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, comment down below, give me some ideas for something to do, something that um, you see in a store and you want to try and you're not sure if you can do it at the home, at home. So let me know, um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.